Welcome to VMI's instructional video for TrendViewer, our software that allows users to correlate data for condition monitoring of their machinery. TrendViewer is designed for use with the Viper X3 Machine Condition Analyzer. The main purpose for this video is to demonstrate how to set up a project and give users an understanding of how to store and analyze vibration measurements. Vibration analysis is used as an early detection method of machine failure and can reduce repair costs significantly. Let's get started. What you see on your screen is a blank trend viewer document. Up in the top left corner we have the VMI button. From this drop down menu you can choose to open a new or existing document as well as save, print or close your current document. To start a new project we click create a new document. Now we need to add measuring groups to our project. Our software allows for flexibility when creating groups to suit your monitoring requirements. In our example we'll be monitoring all the machines in workshop 1. Click add measurement group or location. Then I'll select building as the top of my tree, then click next. I'll give the building a name, workshop 1, and a quick description. In workshop 1 let's say there are two departments, cutting and grinding. Click next. You can now select where in your project tree to add this group. Workshop 1 is the top, so we can click Finish. Now we have Workshop 1 in our example. We have two departments in the one building, so we'll add another branch to our tree by again clicking Add Measurement Group or Location. This time selecting Department and Next. Add a name and description to your new group. Cutting Department. Add a description and click next. Select where you want to have your new group. We want the department to be in workshop 1 so we'll click finish and you can see our cutting department in workshop 1. Now we should add the machines we plan to monitor to our departments. Select add machine, give your machine a name, cutter 1 and a description, cutting machine. Click next. Now you can choose to create a new machine or one from a saved template. We'll create a new machine, so we click Next, select our machine's location, which is the cutting department, and Finish. There we have Cutter 1. This machine now needs to be assigned measuring points. Select Add Measurement Point, give the point a name, Point 1, and Description. Free end bearing of motor. Click Next, add which measurements are conducted at the point. We'll select Horizontal and Vertical. You can change the unit in which the measurement will be stored and add default storage slots in this window also. Then click Next. In this window you can select your alarm levels manually if you wish. We'll select the standard configuration where vibrations under 3 mm per second are acceptable and over 7 mm per second require action and between should be monitored more frequently. Click Next. Here you can change bearing condition alarm levels, we'll stay with the default settings and click next. In this window we have the temperature measurement settings. You can select to have one measurement per point or per direction. Change the default storage slot and also choose whether to store the measurements in degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit. VMI recommends taking one temperature measurement per point. Select next, now you can select where to add the measurement point. We'll add it to cutter 1 and finish. Our machine cutter 1 now has a measuring point. If we expand the point, you can see our measuring directions, horizontal and vertical, and a spot for bearing condition and temperature readings. Our machines have four bearings, so we require four measuring points. You can create each individual point as I've just shown you, or you can copy existing points by holding the control key, then left click, hold, and drag with the point of your mouse, like so. There we have four points. Now all that's needed is to rename and describe your new points. To do this we right click on the point you wish to rename, select the properties menu, rename and change the description of your point and select OK. Do this for all of your new points. VMI recommends conducting vibration measurements along the machine's direction of force, starting at the free bearing of the motor. If you follow this practice your measuring points will be sequential and easy to manage. You'll also be able to use the default storage settings provided in the software. Okay, now Cutter 1's four bearings are all assigned a point. 
In the cutting department, we have three cutters, so we need to add those. You can either do this manually or by copying the same way we created additional points. Now our cutting department has three machines and each machine has four measuring points. I did say earlier workshop one had two departments. We can add the grinding department by copying and renaming the cutting department and its machines. Here's one I prepared earlier. Now all the machines inside workshop one are accounted for. We can assign each measurement we take a storage slot in our tree. Right click on the tree and select storage slots. This window shows the vibration and temperature measuring slots to assign vibration measurements. Ensure the vibration slots are selected. You can manually assign or unassign these storage slots individually or simply use the auto assign function. You can also assign slots for your temperature measurements by following the same steps and selecting temperature at the top of the window. To save your settings and exit, click OK. Now you can see our measurements have all been assigned a storage slot. Now your project is set up, it's time to plan a route, take your measurements and upload the data. To plan a route, click on the section of the tree you wish to monitor. We will measure every machine in Workshop 1 today. Select Workshop 1, then click Route Plan. This creates a PDF file you can view, save or print out using these buttons. Then just follow the plan and take your measurements with your Viper X3. VMI recommends you print out your plan and follow it every time you conduct your rounds. Having your measurement points numbered in relation to your storage slots is a convenient and simple way to ensure your measurements are stored in the same slot every time. When your rounds are complete, plug your Viper X3 into the computer with the serial data bus to USB cable. Open your saved project in TrendViewer, turn on your Viper X3 and press the green menu button. Using the down arrow, Highlight the upload function, then press the green key. Now your Viper X3 is in upload mode, waiting for Trend Viewer to request its data. Click Import Measurements from Instrument. The pop up will prompt you to set your Viper X3 to upload. We already have, so select Next. This window allows you to select your COM port and what data to upload monitoring or balancing. Select the correct port then select which measurements to upload and click next. The upload will take a few seconds depending on the amount of data stored on the device. Afterwards you'll be given the option to timestamp the data individually or all together. Our measurements were conducted today so I'll select all. This option is defaulted to your computer's date setting but can be changed. If you have conducted your rounds on a previous date. Click next to select which unit to store your vibration measurements in. This can be changed by using the drop down menu. Click next to select which unit to store your temperature measurements in. Then click next to store the uploaded data. This will take a few seconds depending on the amount of data. When complete the finish button will become available. Click finish. You can now turn off and unplug your Viper X3. We can view the trend graphs of the stored data by double clicking your mouse on the measurement you wish to see. The graph's colouring represents the alarm levels we have selected earlier, green being good, yellow and orange requiring investigation, and red needing immediate attention. To view a trend you require more than one set of measurements, so after your second set of rounds you will begin to see your graph. As you can see, bearing 4 on cutter 1 is becoming a concern and should be replaced. These graphs enable you to monitor the wear trends of your equipment and identify a potentially catastrophic failure before it happens, saving you maintenance, time and money. VMI hopes you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have other questions regarding any of our vibration analysis instruments or software, contact your local retailer or email VMI. Be sure to check out our website, vmiab.com, for more information on our great range of products.